you know, my work looks really good in this darkness, that is for sure. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Okay, it's official. I think my work here is finally done. I probably said that on a previous video, but since I thought I wrapped this up, I did spend uh, a little bit of time dealing with the memory issue that I was having, which appears to be solved. And then um, I thought I would just bust out a little bit of my black paint marker just to do a couple little touch-ups on the play field, okay? And so I did take one little photo just in case because I thought I was just going to do this one little area. And uh, one thing led to another and I ended up spending a good couple hours all in all doing little touch-ups to the play field. So the only way you're going to friggin' even notice what I have done is if I show you a couple before photos, which I don't, I didn't document anything, because like I said, I thought I was just going to be um, doing a little touch-up in a couple black areas. So I didn't bother to take any photos or video of anything. Now this is really dark, so you're certainly not going to see anything. So let's start. I guess I can try and you know, my work looks really good in this darkness, that is for sure. Okay, so that's that's pass number one in the dark. Let's throw on my flash. Here we go. So I guess the idea is that if you don't notice where the touch-ups are, then I probably did an okay job, but um, definitely my color matching skills are not on par. I tried in a couple areas. But just for now, you tell me, there's two probably the most obvious spots of, of touch-ups. And then I guess I'll throw in a few after photos shortly. But yeah, so I spent a couple of hours and I still have yet to do a clear coat on top of my touch-ups. But fortunately, the square, you know, inches of actual touch-up area it'd probably equate to like four square inches no not even that much well maybe when you talk about all the outlines of all the uh, inserts which i did a good majority of them so i think it turned out pretty good for my pretty shitty um color matching skills so um at some point i'll have to find some photos or uh, take some stills from some video footage to add at the uh, at some point in this video but uh, it looks better it looks better but I'll show you the big whammies the, the uh, what I the, the ones that if you're if you haven't noticed yet I'm gonna point them out to you and now you notice for sure this area here So it's well worn and uh, my blue does not match. I think I tried a couple different blues. Anyway, I could probably do better. I don't know. It makes me feel like I want to do better. But, you know, with the light off, this is the natural light of the machine. You can't tell. And you can barely tell. Uh, just because the art is so... Intricate, right? There's a million colors all over the place. Uh, and that was, um, who, what was his name again? Um, not Yossi, not Freris. It was Paul Ferris. That's, that's who did it. There he is again there. Paul Ferris. His art is amazing. Anyway, so that's one of the most obvious spots. Next most obvious is my gray match. I actually tried a bunch of times to color match this it's not gray though it's got a tinge of greeny yellowish i don't even know what color that is it's kind of greeny bluey so i tried to match green like mixed white with black with green with blue with yellow with orange i tried all kinds of combinations that's the best i could do 
So we're going to have to live with that. And um, yeah, so. It's a little smidge there. You'll see from the photos that it's definitely an improvement. You know, went over most of the inserts. And I actually used two insert decals. You probably could tell which ones they are. Uh, actually, I put them away. But um, yeah, I used two insert decals. Do you know which ones? The 2X and the 2X. And I imagine those wore the most because that was the easiest multiplier to achieve, right? So they would, those lights would be on more often than any others. So it makes sense that both of them were a little more worn than the others. Uh, the 40,000 was missing a couple letters, T and half of it's H, but uh, not too concerned about that. I don't want to put a whole insert decal over that just for those two letters. And I'm not going to try and write it in there because... Uh, I'm trying not to have to clear coat everything. I'm just trying to be somewhat selective about where I clear coat. And same with when lit here, it's missing a little bit of its lettering. I'm going to leave that. So it's definitely better than it was and uh, I'm happy with it. So now, 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 I am officially done with this project. The There is still, you know, play testing to be had have to make sure that uh, this guy plays great. It's, it has so far. I haven't noticed any any new kinks since I've been playing it. Since I did a little more touch-ups tonight, I'm going to have to wait before I play it. Um, this stuff dries pretty quick, but probably should just leave it alone for the night because I can, and I should, and I will. But this machine will probably end up in Kevin's arcade that he's building so I will play test it a bunch more then I'm gonna fold her up stick it over by um, Terminator 3 this is the Kevin's arcade pile so I'll push that down towards the wall stick Space Invaders there and uh, bring in the new project which I got an idea of what it's going to be yet, but no promises. Um, but yeah, so that is officially the end of the Space Invaders action. Um, it's been a fun little project, nothing major, and cool to experience. It plays pretty good compared to the one at Maple Pinball, which... I thought I was going to hate this game because it just beat the crap out of me, but it actually plays a little more friendly, so it's more enjoyable. Um, anyway, time to move on to a new project. So that's the end of Space Invaders. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.